2020 has been marked with quite unprecedented events, one of which is the outbreak of COVID-19, which has changed global realities from public sector to private sector, to education, business lifestyle, and also what people will call live wire for people, religion. Religion indeed has seen any wave in terms of worship and modes of religious expressions. To take a look on how coronavirus has impacted on religion or spirituality, as it were, I'm joined live on Skype from Ontario, Canada, by the Reverend Goodard OBC Akweme of the Under Shepherd of the Revival House of Glory International Church, Rojik. Good morning to you, Pastor in Canada, and it's afternoon here. How are you doing today, sir? How are you doing, sir? I'm great. Good to have you with us. Awesome. Yeah. Now, first of all, Pastor, how are you coping with this new reality of COVID-19 lockdown and the stay-at-home order? Well, it, it's um, very, very interesting to say the least. And um, to be honest, it's um, historic uh, for all intents and uh, purposes. In my mind, it has never happened on the face of the earth as far as I know in my lifetime. Um, it's indicative to me that it's something new and novel that the world is having to live with and uh, how we interpret it and how we adjust to it becomes very critical um, going forward. And um, people have seen it from different perspectives, different light, um, but I think it's important for us to see it um, from the various angles, but at least from the, in my mind, the biblical perspective. Now, in, in the past week since the lockdown was imposed, churches around the world have resorted to online services. But for you, who has always had an online congregation, what, what difference does this, does this make for you? Well, um, just like I mentioned, this novel is new. People have had to adjust to what they're not used to. Several pastors had never been online to do church services. They didn't find the need to do it because uh, it just wasn't relevant to where they were. Uh, but now it's become literally absolute. When you can't congregate physically, then you have to look for alternatives to reach out to the flock that God has put under your care to serve them. Uh, we have thankfully been quite active in terms of online ministry and services for two and a half years. Um, so it, 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 it's given us a head start to the glory of the Lord. And we've simply had to tweak a few things and to um, flow in the same vein. Um, it's been very helpful. In Nigeria, we, we had some religious leaders define the ban on religious gathering. How, how did you interpret this behavior when this happened? Well, to start with, honestly, uh, when things like this happen, you must give people room and chance to, um, to adjust and to adapt. Uh, it's the responsibility of the government um, to communicate in very clear terms these issues, disseminate the information. So I find to divide some people who were perhaps ignorant of the law or do not understand the implication of the law um, and went on to have services not because they were rebellious or intended to flout the law they simply did not understand what was said then of course the other hand would be one or two of you know who was just want to do it because they don't know anything better to do but uh, having said that i, I think uh, most churches quickly adjusted uh, within the first week or the second week of the said law. And um, uh, that's what, what it is, yes. Now, Pastor, you, you're one of those pastors prior to COVID-19 who has been online. Um, do, do you see this becoming an option for, for people congregating for, for in places of worship for services post-COVID-19? Yeah, going forward, it's it's a reality, my brother, um, that the church will live with. Even when the church will, will come back to a physical congregation, um, we, we can't do away with the online presence. It will be two things. One, you have uh, your online congregation that you're very aware that are there and you're serving, and then you have the, the localized congregation. So either which way, it, it's come to stay. Now, let's talk about faith and, and common sense. Where is the place of faith and spirituality when people defy the law, such as the, the stay-home order to cut the spread of COVID-19 and choose to gather to pray in their numbers? Well, the, the Bible is very clear. The Bible has asked us to be um, respectful to the law of the day. Uh, government in power is to be honored and respected. So, so that, to me, is it's no, it's non-negotiable. Um, the Lord honors that simple obedience. It's for our common good. Uh, but you must understand, again, people have the levels of ignorance uh, relating to life, 
more so relating to the Bible they profess to preach. Uh, but really, we ought to obey those simple laws. Um, the Reverend Godard OBC Elkwemer, thank you very much for joining us all the way in Canada and for your time and for your contribution. Thank you so much, Benny. Have a wonderful day. You too, sir.